Now today we're looking at a blower motor fan relay. So in other words, you attempt to turn on the heating, the ventilation, the air conditioning inside your vehicle and nothing is coming out of the vents. Typically it's a blown relay or the motor itself is no longer working. So you can quickly diagnose what's going on just by testing the relay. A lot of times that's just the quickest thing to do. Now before we jump over to the vehicle and I'll show you on how you can find this on your vehicle, we will have a separate playlist just for relays. We've already done a starter relay, ignition coil relay, a fuel pump relay, so we'll just keep on adding relays to this list. So in other words, in the future, if you ever need one guide on how to test a specific relay, everything will be on that playlist. So how do you find the relay specifically on your vehicle? Well, really two things. Number one is do a web search. So in my case, 2006 Acura TL blower motor fan relay, and I'll have quickly, I'll have diagrams and pictures showing where the relay lives. If that doesn't work, visit a forum specific for your vehicle. Many times you have members that will know your vehicle inside and, ha and out. If you still have trouble, just open up the hood. Now, if you're not too acclimated with your vehicle, you're not sure what you're really looking at, obviously it can't be this because this is the engine, of course. can't be too close because this pushes out a lot of heat. And if we look to the left, can't be over here. This is the windshield washer fluid reservoir. Let's look to the right. We have this plastic piece that runs to the throttle body. Can't be this. This is the air filter. But right here is the fuse and relay box. Now, you can typically know very quickly because you often find these plastic tabs right here. You just push in these tabs and the cover comes right off. And when you rotate the cover, you have a schematic, which I'll explain what this is in a moment. Now, if it's not here again, it's inside the dash, but use web search. Use a web search because it will save you a lot of time. So again, we remove the cover and let me zoom in here. If this looks a little confusing to you, it's quite simple. Whenever you see numbers, these are fuses. So we're not concerned with any fuses. We need the relay. So we have these rectangular looking components, we can call them, and these are relays. So in my case, I have five relays here, but which is the correct relay? Well, take the cover and rotate it. And again, you have a schematic on the back. So let me zoom out here. And the symbol for a relay is this guy right here. So one, two, three, four, five. So again, five relays, ignore any numbers. So this looks like the rear defroster. And when you turn on the defroster inside your cabin, inside the vehicle. So this is the rear defroster relay, so that's not it. This guy looks like a snowflake. And this is for the air conditioning, uh, the AC clutch relay, so this is not it. But take a look at this guy. There's a symbol of a fan, and this is it. This is the exact relay that we need. Now, if you're curious, if we look down here, we also have these other relays. Now, this right here would be for the radiator fan, and this is the condenser fan. In other words, when you first turn on the air conditioning, you always hear a fan kick on. So that's this relay when you turn on the AC. And again, this is the radiator fan relay. So this is the correct one. There we go. This is the correct one. So one, two, three. Okay? So it's that simple. One, two, three. Now, sometimes these can be a little tight. So what you can do, in my case, there's no way I can remove this. It's a little tight. Actually, I probably can. But if you can't, grab yourself a piece of cloth, microfiber, very gently, very gently. You can use a pair of pliers. Very gently, just pull up. And as you can see, it doesn't damage it. And there's your relay. Now, testing the relay is very, very simple. We're just going to recreate how this lives inside the vehicle. In other words, inside the relay, there's a switch. So when this is powered by the vehicle, there's a little switch that moves and then allows power then to flow to the motor, the blower motor inside the vehicle. So how can we recreate this? Well, we need to get battery power to the relay. 
Now in my case, I have a battery pack. This pushes out pretty close to 12 volts, so this will be absolutely perfect. If you do not have a battery pack, you can use your car battery. However, just be really, really careful. Now, to get power to this, I have to get some wires. So I have alligator clips. Now, anything you see here, I'll have links in the description box below to Amazon. And if you're a Prime member, typically within one day, you will have it. But that being said, I'm just going to take one lead to the positive. That's the red wire on the battery. Again, same on your vehicle. There's a red wire and a black wire. Red is positive, black is negative. So at this point, I don't want to cross these wires because we'll have a nice little spark. So if we take a look at the relay, we have two terminals that are horizontal, another two that are vertical. So the question becomes, we need to take these leads to these terminals. Now, which one do we touch? Well, just do trial and error. So let's first try the top terminals or the horizontal terminals here. So one lead will go here and another lead goes here. Now, if you hear clicking noise, that is very, very good, but nothing. Okay, so we don't hear anything. You can even reverse it. It does not hurt the relay. If we reverse it, nothing. Okay, so nothing is going on there. Let's try the other, the vertical guys here. So again, one lead goes there. The other lead, you hear that? That's very, very, it's a very, very good sign. Again, let's say I did it reverse the other direction doesn't make a difference okay so now power is being applied to the relay but now I need to verify that we have continuity in other words inside here there's a little switch that moves and that connects these two terminals and continuity just means two points make a connection now to test for continuity you need a multimeter again this is only $15 this exact one actually off Amazon. And if you take a look at all the different symbols on a multimeter, look for the Wi-Fi hotspot. Okay, this guy, that's continuity. Okay, so right here we have continuity. So we need to verify that inside the relay there's a connection. That's all that we're doing. Now with the multimeter, there are two leads. There's a black lead. It comes with the multimeter. Okay, black lead and there is a red lead. So on continuity, when I take these two leads, okay, so I'm just taking the multimeter, one lead to the bottom, one lead to the top. And there you go, we have continuity. This is exactly what you want to hear. This verifies that the relay is good. If your relay is good, and you have no heat ventilation coming out of the vents, then most likely it's a bad blower motor. Now, if I just disconnect one of these, we should have no continuity now, which we don't, okay? So very, very simple to test. And that's all it really takes to test one of these relays. Again, we will continue uh, to upload videos specifically on these relays. It will be added to the playlist. And thank you for watching.